Hello! Alright, so uh, if you follow politics, or even if you don't follow politics, you've probably heard about all the uh, crazy political news lately. You had Biden at the debate doing his thing, and then uh, some guy tried to shoot Trump, or I guess he did shoot Trump. So crazy stuff happening lately. The country's divided. The country's in an uproar. And, uh, you know, we need uh, voices of reason out there to... Uh, set us on the right path to, to bring America together, you know. And uh, now when something political happens, you might have your uh, favorite people you like to read. You might look up, uh, I don't know, Noam Chomsky. Or if you're more, I guess, right-wing, you might be into Thomas Sowell. I don't know uh, what anyone's watching. But um, for me, when something political happens, um, I like to go to Paul Stanley to see what he has to say. And uh, sure enough, he delivered on this one, man. Um, all right, so Paul Stanley took to Twitter to uh, discuss his thoughts on the Trump shooting. So here's what he had to say. Quote, the shooting of former President Trump is an awful example of the state of our country. Nobody has the right to use violence to further their beliefs. Democracy depends on elections to determine the will of the people. Wishing him a speedy recovery and a prayer for the lives lost. All right, in quote. So, what do you guys think, man? Is Paul right on the money? Uh, do you disagree? Do you agree? Maybe uh, you're pro violence. Maybe you wish Trump had been shot. I don't know. Maybe uh, you don't. So, uh, let us know in the comments, man. Keep it civil. I know politics makes people a little uh, cuckoo for cocoa puffs these days, but uh, you know, keep keep the comment section clean. You know, I'm looking for some well-reasoned, uh, well-thought-out discourse uh, from the philosophical uh, KISS fans out there. So let us know, man. Have a great day.